Hey, it's Klaus here with another quick tip episode of the e-commerce coffee break. Today, I want to talk about something new in Google, which you might have missed, and it's a huge thing. So it's called Google Performance Max. Performance Max is a new way to start Google ads. In the past, you needed to find out if you want to have search ads, if you want to have display ads, if you want to have YouTube ads and all of this. And Google Max, Performance Max, sort of puts these things together and makes it much easier for to, for you to start campaigns with different objectives and then reach your customers on all available YouTube channels. So I've played around with Performance Max in the last week, 10 days, and already see good results. Now I just want to share with you how Google Performance Max works. So for the one of for the ones of you that are listening to the podcast, I will just talk you through whoever watches this on YouTube, or if you want to watch this on YouTube, I will share my screen there and then you get a bit of a better overview on how that works. Now with Google Ads, if you set up a new campaign, as in the past, you have your different campaign objectives where you choose even if you want to if you want to have sales, if you want to generate leads, website traffic brand and um, product consideration and all of these things that you had in the past. And if you go, for instance, for sales and go to the next step, then you are asked for your goals. So your conversion goals. Now, usually for sales, if you run a Shopify store, for instance, that might be or will, will be a purchase. So you probably have set up your purchase goals or your account goals already in Google Analytics and have connected these with your Google AdWords account and then they will show up there. So once you have um, chosen your your goal, your conversion goal, then the next step will open the different campaign types. Still you have there search, display, shopping, video, discovery, all the things that you had in the past, but now you also will have a new option there which is called Performance Max. Performance Max says reaches audience across all of Google with a single campaign. And that's in a nutshell how it works and what it is. So if you choose Performance X, uh, Performance Max, and you have the goal of conversions of uh, purchase of sales in the online store, then it will ask you to um, connect this specific Google campaign with your Google Merchant Center account. So you should have that already done. You should have your data feed, your data stream in there, that all your products are synchronized with the Google Merchant Center. And then you can choose it from there. Next step would be picking the country where that you want to or the countries that you want to use for your campaign. Then you give it the whole thing a name and then next step is going a little bit deeper and now things become interesting. Just let me load this quickly. So next step will be budgeting and bidding. So obviously you give your campaign a daily budget. I have started with like $5 per day just to test it out. You should do the same. And then the bidding style where you want to focus on. Now for a online store, I would definitely choose conversions. Um, you can also go for conversion value, which I think is a little bit more difficult. Um, I would straight go to conversions and not play around with that. And you can also go for a target cost per action optional. But again, to keep this simple in this example here, I will just go for conversions. So after you have done your bidding and your budget, next step then will go into your campaign settings where we go, what are your target countries? Now we had target countries in the first um, step already when it came, it came, to the, uh, came to your data feed, data feed in your Google Merchant account. But again, here you can split this off a little bit more and beside of locations, you can enter also um, the language. So these are settings that you pretty much had in the past as well. Next one is an interesting one. It's um, a new feature, which is called final URL expansion. So in the past, you were setting one landing page URL per campaign. And that was the landing page where when somebody would click on your ad would end up on. With Google Performance Max, you can do it differently. So you can, Google will then send the traffic to the most relevant URL on your site. So Google will decide what the search intent is of the person and then automatically 
put the best landing page in front of the person who's searching for it. So if you have your data feed and people are going, and I will show you this in the next step, going for a specific search term or coming from a specific audience, then Google will decide what the best product is to show them. Um, so that automatically goes in the background. Obviously, if you want to exclude URLs, so you want to have pages that should not be shown to your audience, then you can do this as well with a feature here in, in Google, Google Performance Max setup. But generally, Google will decide where people will end up. And then obviously you have um, your ad schedule, you start an end date for your campaign and so on and so forth. Next step, and this is new, is the asset group. So the asset group basically tells um, Google where you want to have people going to, uh, how your ad should look like. So in the asset group, you do the setup of the main page you want people having going to. That would be usually either your collections page, your collections overview page, or your home page. And then you can upload up to 15 images. So that can either be for a specific product or for products in your store. And you can add up to five logos. So that would be basically your store logo, your company logo, your brand logo. And then also we can upload up to five videos. Now these videos, usually you, what you do there is you just put in the YouTube URL where you have the videos and then Google Ads will pull these videos directly from YouTube. The next part will be adding up to five headlines up to five long headlines. So the normal headlines have a maximum character amount of 30, the long headlines up to 90 characters. And then you have descriptions. So you can set up another um, five, I think it is, um, with descriptions what it is, and then the call to action, which can be also automated. That means run by Google itself. Of these different options that you have now, um, so the combinations of any kind of headline, lock hand, uh, long headline, description, video, logo, image, Google will start creating automatically ads for performance ads campaign. So these will be shown on YouTube, on Gmail, on search, on display, and on discover. So that basically covers all the channels that Google has to show ads. And it does it automatically for all of these different channels, which is a huge time saver. And um, then the next step is going into audience signals. Now, audience signals is something that you most likely are very familiar because that's how, to a certain degree, Facebook ads worked in the past. So you can basically put um, create a new audience there and you have tons of different versions to create audiences. You could do audience in the past in Google, but this is much better. So you can search for custom segments. So what's the search activity? Basically, what keywords are people are looking for in Google? Um, what apps do they have downloaded? What sites have they visited? So you basically can slot in all the websites of your competitors. Or have they interacted with your business? Do you want to do remarketing lists? Do you want to um, upload email lists and so on and so forth? And then you can also use just interest, uh, interest or detailed uh, demographics. So you can go into the in-market segments, live events, and so on and so forth. All the data that Google has specifically on demographics on people. And then obviously you can mix and match all of these different um, segments and audiences. Now this gives you a huge power. Google has far more data points than Facebook has. And Facebook has already a lot, but Google has more. So that gives you just a slight idea of how um, powerful this feature is. So specifically, as you know, that um, Facebook just recently deleted thousands and thousands of interests. And um, with the iOS update, it has become extremely difficult for, um, with Facebook targeting. Google makes it much easier. So they sort of take over and improve what Facebook has done in the past. This is just should you give you an idea how powerful this is. And there are very, very, very granular interests in there and custom segments in there that you can use to really find high quality traffic for your business, for your store. So play around with creating audience signals, with creating new audiences. 
and then start with a small budget and just try it out. Um, it takes a couple of days, so you need to run, let them run a couple of days so that the algorithm, ha algorithm has a chance to catch up and find the right people. And this then will um, run a very easy to set up, easy um, to run Google Performance Max campaign. As in the past, you can also use the ad extensions. So they are still there. There are the call out extensions, the call extensions, all of the extensions that you had in the past, you can use them as well. Obviously, they do not show up on every platform, but for Google search, for instance, they will be there as they were in the past. So if you want to use these and you should, you can do this as well. And then obviously you need to get your ad approved and um, this might or might not, depending on the topic and the products you're selling a day or two. And then hopefully if it's approved, give it a couple of days so that the algorithm can start working and do its thing. And then you will see how easy it is and how powerful Performance Max is. Um, a complete new way to use Google Ads. I like it a lot. I'm Google Ads certified for a long time. So I always was looking for something that is um, going into this direction. And now finally, they have launched it. It might not be available in all um, Google Ads accounts. So if you don't see it yet, um, then you have to wait a little bit longer or you just create a new Google ad account and then it might be in there from day one. So they're rolling it out gradually, um, but I would recommend to try it out. I like the system a lot. Google performance ads, um, definitely the way to go into the future of Google. That's it for this short, quick tip episode of the e-commerce coffee break. As always, if you have any um, comments, then leave them below the podcast or below the video. I read them all and I see you in the next e-commerce coffee break. Have a good day. Hey Klaus here, before you leave, I have a question for you. Are you a Shopify store owner and you're feeling stuck, overwhelmed, not sure what to do next to grow your business? Do you struggle to convert traffic into sales and turn website visitors into buyers? Do you want to have direct access to a mentor who can assist you with your store, your strategy, offer marketing, sales, and anything else you might need in your business? Then I would invite you to apply for my Get Conversions program, where I show you how to remove the guesswork out of growing your Shopify business and create clarity to optimize your business for maximal growth and profit. This is an application-only program. To apply, go to klauslauter.com to learn more. And finally, please do not forget to subscribe, like, and comment. It's a huge help and allows me to reach more people with this channel. Thanks in advance and until next time at the e-commerce coffee break.